All right, back here locally, there could be light at the end of the tunnel for the long delayed and over budget LAX people mover. A completion date is set, but it's going to cost a lot more money. Today, LA airport officials might approve another $400 million for that project. It would bring the cost of the people mover to nearly $3.4 billion. KTLA 5's Alina Abovian is in Van Nuys with more. Hi there. Well, they are not only considering this new budget, but they're also considering a new date for completion, a deadline to finally get it done. Now, take a look behind me. We are here at Van Nuys Airport in Van Nuys, and the meeting is now underway. This is agenda item number 28, but the actual vote won't happen until they go into closed session. Now, as far as the additional $400 million goes to complete the project, but also to settle some legal issues with a contractor, according to a report from LA World Airport CEO John A. The additional funding is needed to address claims filed by the contractor LAX Integrated Express Solutions over issues related to compensation, production, and timeliness. The board in May of this year already approved some $200 million in additional money for the project, including the $400 million they are considering now, bringing the total settlement amount to $550 million. If the board approves the money today, the project could be complete by December 8, 2025, that is the new date set for a deadline, considering the project is already very delayed. Also, taking the budget to $3.34 billion from the original budget to $2.9 billion. The People Mover is part of LAX's larger $30 billion update project renovation. The airport broke ground on the People Mover back in March of 2019. Eventually, it will carry some 30 million passengers a year, resulting in 117,000 fewer vehicle miles traveled per day. It's an electric train system about two and a half miles of elevated rail originally scheduled to be complete this year. Even though it's been significantly delayed, the project is still aiming to open and be ready for the 2026 FIFA World Cup and for the 2028 Olympic and Paralympic Games. With any government, there's a lot of uh, oversight just to make sure that there's, uh, everything is done correctly and there's checks and balance. So absolutely, it, it might take a little longer, but uh, the full effort is to get it done. And hopefully that will get up, um, approved and uh, we'll move forward. Now, if the new budget, the new $400 million and the new completion date is approved today, the issue will go before the L.A. City Council for a final vote. That's the very latest. I'm Lena Bourbon here in Van Nuys, KTLA 5 News.